Groundwater levels are falling around the world. Aquifers around the world are drying up. New research shows that groundwater levels are falling. And these declines have been more rapid in recent years. This is especially true in dry places where agriculture is widespread. In the journal Nature, scientists from the University of California, Santa Barbara, presented the most detailed estimates of groundwater levels around the world to date. The researchers analyzed nearly 1,700 aquifers in various parts of the world. In addition to data on declining water resources, the scientists' work provides examples of how the problem of groundwater depletion can be solved. Groundwater levels are falling rapidly around the world, often at an accelerating rate. Groundwater is decreasing, especially in dry places where agriculture is widespread. Says Scott Jasichko from the University of California, Santa Barbara. A group of scientists from a Californian university collected data on groundwater levels in the USA. The team also requested aquifer data from other institutions and other countries. The researchers also examined 1,200 scientific publications on the topic to reconstruct aquifer boundaries in the study regions and assess groundwater level trends in 1,693 aquifers. In total, the researchers had 300 million measurements taken in 1.5 million wells over the last 100 years. Data analysis took three years. This study was born out of curiosity. We wanted to better understand the state of global groundwater by analyzing millions of measurements, says lead author Deborah Perone from the University of California, Santa Barbara. The results of this research constitute the most comprehensive analysis of groundwater levels to date and indicate global losses of as much as 71%. Examined aquifers. Moreover, the pace of their shrinkage is accelerating in many places. This has been happening since around 2000. In many places, Groundwater is being depleted due to intensive agriculture, which draws on underground resources to irrigate crops, especially during periods of drought. And droughts are becoming more frequent due to climate change. Of the aquifers for which there was enough data to compare current trends with those from 1980 to 2000, about 30% showed a downward trend. Aquifers that are losing water are usually located in regions where rainfall is also decreasing. During droughts, people use groundwater to a greater extent, says Jasichko. There is hope, however. Research shows that in about 20% aquifers monitored long-term, declines have slowed. Moreover, in the case of 16% the downward trend was reversed. And in 13% aquifer levels have increased over time. This study shows that people can change situations with intentional, focused efforts, Jasichko emphasizes. In places where the decline in groundwater levels has slowed down or aquifers have been replenished. This has been due to numerous actions taken by local communities that were threatened by lack of access to water. For example, in Bangkok at the beginning of the 21st century, New fees were introduced for the construction of private wells with pumps. 
This reversed groundwater declines and slowed the huge city's land subsidence problems. The researchers also cited the example of Tucson, Arizona, where water from the Colorado River is used to recharge the aquifer in the nearby Avra Valley. As part of this project, water is stored for future use. Groundwater is often seen as a reserve for the future. Deliberately replenishing aquifers allows us to store this water until it is needed, Jasichko emphasizes. Another option, following Bangkok's example, is to focus on demand reduction, which involves regulations, permits and fees for groundwater use. But trends in groundwater levels don't paint the full picture. Even where aquifers remain stable, groundwater withdrawals can still impact nearby streams and surface water. The authors also analyzed rainfall variability over the last 40 years for 542 aquifers. They noticed that 90% aquifers where declining trends have accelerated are in places where conditions have become drier over the last 40 years. Less rainfall resulted in shortages in replenishing water supplies. On the other hand, climate variability may also reverse trends and allow groundwater to recover where conditions become wetter.